One of the things that Arduino is not good at is generating random numbers. It uses um, some poor algorithm for the pseudo random function that it runs, and we've been having problems generating random numbers in some of our artwork. Um, so I came across this circuit online, um, and this is by uh, Z1FFR is the name the guy goes by. Um, and this is a true random circuit. It generates something called avalanche noise by running electricity backwards, nine volts backwards through one of these, um, or rather a series of transistors. Um, and what happens is electrons escape creating signal noise. And then that um, noise is read as ones and zeros flipping back and forth um, at random into one of the digital pins on the Arduino. Uh, and then in our sketch code, what we do is we combine the bits together um, in order to turn them into an integer. And you can see that it's just constantly spitting out random numbers. Right now I have it generating random numbers between 0 and 1024, um, which should be enough for my uses. Um, but the code is flexible, so you can specify like the maximum range that you want the, the random number to generate by using this power of twos chart. Um, so uh, it's really flexible. This will be great for our upcoming projects. That way when you touch a sensor and it plays a sample sound, it will be a random number. It will be a random sample in this case um, for a large range of numbers. So pretty happy with this. Um, I'm going to post this code up on GitHub. You can see it at github.com slash John Grover, J-O-N-G-R-O-V-E-R. I'll call the sketch something like true random. Um, so look for that sketch up there. And um, I'll also include the links to build this circuit. Um, next up is going to be, instead of having this on a solderless breadboard, we have to um, solder this onto like a permanent breakout board or, or a shield for the Arduino. So it'll be more convenient to use.